Muzzle Acclimation Training. Phase 1. Building a Positive Conditioned Emotional Response, or CER, to the muzzle. Present the muzzle, then give a high-value treat. Pause, then repeat. Do not move on until you see a yippee response from the dog. Phase 2. Putting her head in the muzzle. There are two options, luring and shaping. We will start with luring. If you lure the behavior, be sure to only use a food lure a few times, then fade it. After a few repetitions, present the muzzle with no treats in it. If she puts her nose in it, mark and treat through the muzzle. Basket muzzles plus cheese whiz are very good for this. Shaping is my personal favorite. Mark and treat approximations of the final behavior, gradually increasing criteria. Phase 3. Duration. Regardless of the method used, when the dog is reliably putting her face all the way into the muzzle, delay the click and treat for a moment. Gradually continue to delay the click and treat by one additional second each trial as long as the dog is successful. If she is unsuccessful, start again at no duration and work your way back up.
Phase 4, Conditioning the Straps. Straps should be trained separately from the behavior of putting her head in the muzzle, especially for dogs who are head shy. Extend the straps as if you are going to put them around the dog's neck, then mark and treat. Gradually increase your own movements until you can fasten the straps around the dog's neck. If the dog pulls away or seems uncomfortable, go back to a previous stage and work back up more gradually. Yes. Phase 5. Combining muzzle and straps. Using the same conditioning method you used with straps only, gradually condition the dog to accept the straps with the muzzle on. Yes. Phase 6, Duration. 
Simply click and treat when the muzzle is on, then wait one second before the next click and treat, then two, etc. Take frequent breaks to take the muzzle all the way off, during which time all fun stops. You do not want the dog to try to get the muzzle off. If she does, take it off, then end the session. This reinforces the behavior of pawing at the muzzle, but it's better than the alternative of creating a new negative CER and the fallout that comes with it. Next time, take more frequent breaks and work duration more gradually. Phase 7, more acclimation. You can also extend duration by proxy and increase acclimation by asking the dog to do some simple, well-known favorite tricks while wearing the muzzle. This can also increase the dog's positive CER to the muzzle. If she tries to paw the muzzle off, get the muzzle off quickly, but all fun and games stop. Work some more on duration or use easier tricks next time. Target. Yes. Phase 8, movement. Many dogs will do fine in a muzzle until they are asked to walk around. Then it seems as though they're unable to move without first pawing off the muzzle. Deal with this proactively. Mark and treat the dog for walking next to you. First mark and treat for being stationary next to you, then work your way up to one step at a time, then two, etc. Later we will add a leash to the equation. Take me out that time.
adding a leash. This step is completely optional. I like to repeat phase 8 with the leash on. The leash isn't actually doing anything, it's just there. You're still marking and treating the same thing. This is the beginning of teaching loose leash walking. If your dog already knows loose leash walking, refresh it anyway because it may look different to your dog in a muzzle. Gradually increase distraction by retraining the behavior in slightly more difficult environments. For example, try it on the front porch, then the yard, then an empty parking lot, then on the street. Only progress to a more difficult environment once the dog has been successful in the current environment. If the dog is having trouble, go back to an easier environment and work your way back up. Phase 9, Relaxation. We want the dog to be able to relax with the muzzle on, and of course we want to continue extending duration so that we don't have to be constantly shoveling treats into our dogs every 10 seconds. We can accomplish both by following Karen Overall's protocol for relaxation while the dog wears her muzzle. For some dogs, you may have to work on capturing or shaping relaxation in the muzzle before starting the protocol. New relaxation protocol, day one. Sit for two seconds. Time. Sit for five seconds. Time. Sit while you take two steps back and then return. Sit while you take one step to the right and then return. From this point, you can graduate to having your dog wear the muzzle for brief periods of time around the house. Give the dog a treat for putting the muzzle on and let her hang out for a few minutes. You can gradually extend the time she is expected to wear it, but stagger the increase in duration. For example, put it on for two minutes, then five minutes, then three minutes, so your dog cannot guess how long it will be on for. If the dog has trouble with the muzzle at a certain duration, take it off. Later, briefly retrain the behavior of putting the head in the muzzle. 
then increase duration more gradually. Make a habit of putting the muzzle on the dog before good things happen. For example, the muzzle might be put on before a walk or before a clicker training session. This way, the positive CER is maintained. If you only put the muzzle on the dog before stressful situations, the muzzle will come to predict bad things to the dog. Finally, if you discover that the dog has trouble with the muzzle in certain contexts, for example, near other dogs, stop and make a training plan. How can you reacclimate the dog to wearing the muzzle in a difficult context? A good rule of thumb is to dilute the context, for example, starting with another dog far away, presented only for a moment, and lower the criteria, for example, asking the dog to just glance at the muzzle. Then switch back and forth between gradually increasing criteria and gradually making the context more lifelike, but do not increase both simultaneously. It is always helpful to write down the training plan, incorporating all aspects of the context and criteria to make sure you stay on track. Thanks for watching.